It's that time of the month again where I crack open one of these boxes and do a model review. This time it's the 2021 Bathurst winner, uh, Chas Mostert and Lee Holdsworth. Things were looking up for year two of Chaz with Walker Chaw Andretti United. He'd had a win the previous year and uh, he kicked off the uh, year scoring double podiums at Bathurst uh, when we had the sprint round there. Remember when that uh, virus was uh, causing havoc with the calendar? Um, things didn't go to plan for the rest of the season. Uh, there was uh, some highlights during the year. He did take out some wins at Simmons and Hidden Valley, um, but there was other podiums, but there was also some downsides. Uh, he had a DNF at the bend where he got tangled in a, an early race incident uh, with uh, Cam Waters and Heimgartner, I think it was. Uh, yeah, there was some podiums scattered throughout, but in, in general, it was very up and down. So heading into the final round at Bathurst, Van Gisbergen was, uh, he was already the champion. Jamie Linkup comfortable in second place there. Third place was though between Mostert, uh, Cam Waters and Will Davison. So to bookend the championship, they headed back to Bathurst for the 1000 as the final round of the year. Um, it was one of those weekends where just, e even if it didn't go perfectly right for Chaz, uh, yeah, they, they just, they had the speed to bring themselves back to the front of the field. Um, in practice, Lee Holdsworth topped the times in both of the co-driver sessions. Um, Chaz was fastest in two of the four mixed sessions with uh, Cam Waters fastest in the other two sessions. Uh, Chaz was second and third in those sessions that they didn't top. So uh, yeah, their, their worst, worst session result uh, over all of the practice sessions was third. For qualifying, Chaz was once again third, uh, which was probably the, the first kind of chink in the armor for them. Uh, Will Brown and Anton Di Pasquale were uh, first and second, but the top 10 shootout was to come and uh, Chaz set what uh, a record lap at the time, 203.3736 to set pole position, which was faster than Scott McLaughlin's, um, yeah, pole lap from the year before. Um, then in the warm-up, warm traditionally, you I suppose the, the top guys don't really uh, go for times in this session. Um, Feeney in the Triple Eight wildcard, he was fastest, um, but they um, they were still second in the warm up for the race. Lee Holdsworth was on starting duties, which he promptly lost out to Tony D'Alberto heading into the first corner. Uh, Tony was bored Anton's Mustang at the time, um, but over that first lap, Lee was just all over the back of uh, Tony, which at the time I remember I was a bit like, Lee, it's the first lap, you know, take it calm. But uh, yeah, heading into the chase uh, before the end of the first lap, he overtook him and then started to take off. Um, Tanda actually then took Tony uh, heading into the final corner uh, to yeah basically uh, start off the battle for the rest of the day. Um, other than during the pit stops, they just comfortably kind of sat in that lead position for the first uh, third of the race. Uh, lap 49, Chaz got a puncture, which did see them come off strategy with all the other guys. But uh, yeah, you just had that feeling during the day that they were going to fight back to the front of the field somehow. Uh, they, they were on and, you know, off strategy. They had to make an extra stop to everyone, but you're just like the, the, the pace in this car, they'll, they'll fight it back. Um, 56 laps to go and there was a safety car brought out for an echidna on the track. This is where everyone got bunched back up, uh, which put them in quite a good position because they were carrying a little bit more fuel than the others at the time. Um, Shane Van Gisbergen was leading, Chaz in second, Wink up in third. Um, Chaz went to pass Shane Van Gisbergen at turn two there. Shane held him out wide. Uh, this, this was off that restart. And uh, yeah, let Wink up get back through, which then let a couple of other guys get through. And uh, yeah, it, it was a little bit of panic stations at that point, because then not too much more to go in the race. And you had the two triple eight cars there in front. You're like, this, this is gonna be hard work for Chaz now that he has to come back from fifth position. 
Chaz got himself back up to third position, uh, taking care of Anton pretty quickly. Um, and then there was another safety car when Jade No Jada put the Matt Stone racing car into the wall just before the dipper there. Um, Chaz got the effective lead back. Uh, there was uh, Dave Reynolds who was off strategy at the time. Uh, he was in lead, but Chaz was second there. Um, got the lead back because he had to have a shorter stop. Uh, the Triple Eight and DJR guys having to double stack, putting uh, their, their other cars further back in the field. Um, there was quite quite a few uh, re restarts then towards the end there. It all held broke loose a bit. Um, fe felt like it was just restart after restart, it felt like. Um, but then the, the final time when they had a bit of a clear run to the flag, uh, Chaz just kind of started driving away from Shane. Um, and then Shane actually dropped back. He had a delaminating tire and fell back through the field, um, had to stop for it. They ended up finishing 18th at the end of the day. And um, yeah, Waters and Moffat were in second place. Uh, it felt like those guys were an eternity behind at the finish. I think it was about three and a half seconds. But yeah, in, in Bathurst finishes, it, it, you know, Ch Chaz was just holding the position there. And um, at the end of the day, they took uh, Chaz took his second win and Lee Holdsworth got his first win which was uh, yeah a big big difference considering he got uh, dumped from Tickford uh, 12 months before. So this is the box that the model comes in um, really quite like this one I love the gold on the box uh, the, the box art is really good on it uh, but let's crack it open and see what's inside. That's a copy of the certificate of authenticity 3600 of these cars so uh, yeah definitely a few and there is the Peter Brock trophy that you can actually buy these individually to go with some of the models that haven't come with them it's very hard to get that on uh, photo uh, but yeah it's a it's a very small piece and here is the car although the ZB wasn't a great looking road car it did make into a great looking race car uh, lots of detail on the car um, First, first impressions, it actually looks pretty good fit and finish with opening doors and that, uh, not too bad. I'll try and pop them open and get a bit of a look, but yeah, really nice looking car. That's the view with everything open. Now, as I said before, I'm not a big fan of, I like to display them as they look on track, uh, but yeah, all of the detail is in there. See if we can get inside, it's hard to see, but you've got the pole awards. Or the race wins probably um, on there uh, there's some sponsored decals on the door um, inside the rear door can't see much and this one we can actually open up the rear hatch it was kind of more a hatch on the uh, ZB Commodores you can see the the fuel rig and everything in there just one of the great little details I'm not sure how well that comes up on camera but where you can see the hamburger cam on top of the car and then you can see the uh, sponsor decals on there. Uh, I just I love that because when when you're looking down the hamburger cam on the straight, you can read the mobile and that on appliances online through the hamburger cam. Uh, I just love the detail that they go into on these cars now. So that's my review of the Chaz Mostert and Lee Holdsworth 2021 Bathurst winner now taking a pride of place on the uh, model shelf. You can probably guess what might be the next one that we crack open and review. Although I do actually have a couple of new models coming over the next few weeks, so that might jump in first. Uh, but yeah, down in the comments, let me know what you think of the model. Uh, have you got this one in your collection? And uh, which ones would you like to see coming up? Uh, yeah, until next time, I'm still Dave and I'll catch you later. <laughs>